Hello there, I'm Aldrin Hill, and welcome back to Europe Universalis 4, Yomps Viking. We've been playing just a very tiny bit uh, since our coalition war against Poland, Lithuania, Sweden, Novgorod, Denmark, uh, Hungary, ev everyone. Just everyone. Uh, we lost all our manpower, basically. And we did gain Poznan, which is nice. Uh, the, and I think we had, they know their alliance with Novgorod, which is nice. So Nov... Oh, that's Muscovy. Problem is, Sweden is still allied to fucking everyone. Which is very annoying. Uh, but something interesting has happened that I think is worthy of our attention. So, um, Denmark has become wrecked. Well, that's right. Denmark is wrecked. Uh, and unfortunately, they kind of hate me. So I think I have to force vassalize them, which really sucks. But I would love to be able to annex them normally. I'm now annexing Mecklenburg. And it'll take two years, and it'll cost 50 diplo power. Ooh, 25 for HRE. Not so great, but I don't care. Who gives a shit? Uh, so we, I'm thinking perhaps what I'll do is we'll get rid of that. How much can we improve relation with Denmark? Let's just take a look and check. They can improve by 97. We've done four years. So by then, we'll only have like 5, 12. I'm adding up the bonuses from that in four years. So we'll have 17 plus 94. <laughs> um, so we won't even have 30. Uh, and unless we want to wait another five years... They will hate us forever. So... I think we're going to have to vassalize Denmark. Which ain't so great, really. You know, it's not the best thing. But there's not a huge amount of choice here. Hmm. Where's the territory that Denmark are? There we go. These are, these are cores. We can have... Denmark restore cause anyway. This could help in the fight against Sweden, I think. So I think we are actually going to have to force vassalize them, which really sucks, you know. What do you mean Viking base tax compared to Norwegian? They have no base tax. They have like two base tax. Piss off. Well, they have these islands, don't they? Uh, Norwegian peasants. <sighs> it's very frustrating. We are unfortunately going to have to... Okay, it would be really... Okay, here's the problem. If we were to declare war on them and try and va force vassalize them, we would suffer the ire of everybody, which sucks. But we would be able to gain a huge amount of power, because then when we eventually fight Sweden, who are definitely going to declare war on us soon, when we eventually fight them, we can have them return all these territories. Wouldn't that be nice? And gain, it, gain those land basically for free. But... Problem is, is these guys hate us with a passion. Hey, Poznan. Problem is, Poznan is super rebellious. Uh, we could actually invest and get better troops, but n oh yeah, they are actually nine. Hmm. Costs four hundred ninety power. Make nine. Yeah, yeah, it's probably gonna be a good idea to keep that up. Also, we get his land maintenance modifier, and we're already actually really very rich. Um, so I'm just trying to decide at the moment. Do we want to have to force vassalize these suckers? And I'm thinking we may. Because look at this, I mean, what, AE? We're never going to get up to that, like, up to that bonus for 190, are we? Although, let's try, let's, let's, let's wait a couple years. What we're going to do is we're going to wait a couple years and see what happens when we, uh, because if we get an alliance, you know, they may like us. That minus 42 thing is going to be difficult to beat, but an alliance, is that plus 50? Yeah, it's plus 50. So when we finish the relation, we have 67. It's going to be 50. Uh, what is that? All right, 63 plus 50. That's, again, 113. That's awesome. That's awesome. But that's only going to be about 56. With AE, we'll go down. So that'll be about 60. I don't know. This is tricky. This is very tricky. For some reason, we actually like them quite a lot. Oh, they've been improving relations with us. Huh. Because I would like to vassalize them, you know? 
can't royal marriage them, which sucks. It would be really nice to vassalize them. The AE will go. We can get military access. I don't know. This is very tricky. Hey, whoa, that was fast. We integrated Mecklenburg. Nice, nice. Hey, we gained some troops. How good for us. Uh-huh. Let's pick out the, uh, the broken troops and let's consolidate a bit. Yeah, I think that's probably a good idea. I mean, we, I mean, we do actually have some time, considering we have all this time to waste. Improvements in trade technology. No, I don't want the inflation. There we go. Oh, land force limit modifier. Oh, isn't that nice? Totally useless, but isn't that nice? Alright, Mecklenburg. This does mean that the Hansa is going to hate our guts. That is a problem. Poland, Novgorod, and Sweden. Um, so can we declare war on the Hansa? They only have Riga and Oldenburg. That could be cool. Nice. Nice. We can take some of these provinces. Yeah, let's do it. Let's take some provinces here. Fabricate claim. Bremen, Bremen Hamburg, and Ludenburg. Oh, we can do all of them. Well, let's take... Oh, my God. We definitely want Hamburg and Ludenburg. Ooh, that aggressive expansion is really high. Spy offense. Oh, spy offense. Hi, lovely. Oh, I love getting spy offense. So nice. Um, okay, let's go with... I think we want Hamburg priority, to be honest, because look how valuable it is. It's going to make us tons of money. It's got huge tax bonuses. Look at this trade. Important center of trade. Estuary. Oh, that's amazing. Got to get that. All right, so they're still, they are still hating us, which is a problem. Ooh, period liberation. Not so good for them. Not so good for, the fact for me because of the fact that they're actually doing it. I don't like how many allies Sweden has. I could probably still take all these troops. It's just I don't want to have to lose all my manpower again, you know. Wow. The Hans has 21,000 men. That's uh, it's kind of impressive. I guess we're just going to be waiting a couple years. Du -du -du. Oh, look at that, some more ships. Bellions. Oh, God. Poznan, please. Let's send some more men over there. Uh, we could probably take uh, uh, Hansa. Maybe we could take Hamburg and Ludenburg. That would put us in a very nice position. So, there we go. Denmark is uh, likes us. And if we ally them, we get... Uh, what do we get? 70? It's not that great. And we got to wait 30 years. Oh, dear. That sounds so good. And then we got to wait 30 years. Hmm. I think we'll ally them, because I think we want to try... Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I can't decide. If we ally them, that means it sticks directly in the path of having to try and assize them voluntarily. And that's going to be so difficult because we're not... I mean, they want our provinces, which is not great. And the support and independence of our subjects. Uh, it's going to take like... It'll take 50, 100. It'll still take decades to do this. Decades. I mean, we can offer them loads of things. We can maybe sell them a province. 
We can give them subsidies, that'll be huge. That's pretty good. But honestly, are they ever really going to like us? And it's going to take a fucking decade to do. Is it perhaps better to just straight up declare war on them? Vassalize them as quick as possible. And then what? The, when Sweden inevitably declares war on, on us, we can, ha we can return these provinces to, to Denmark. That seems to be the best thing. But they have so much AE, there's so much AE around. I don't want more. Urgh. Let's 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 fabricate a claim, and we'll we'll take it as it comes. I mean, we have the best navy in the Baltic coast, which is nice. Ah, oh, damn it! <gasps> Lithuania's broken off. Yes. This means they don't. This means it's just. It means it's just in a breaking of alliance. Oh yeah. That's very good. This means the next war we can separate their alliance and they don't have to be united, which means Poland can be wrecked. Oh shit! Wasting power. Force march. Oh, give it to me. Oh, all right. Now we have forced march, which is a really, really goddamn useful thing. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Man, our king is terrible. I wish he would just die. Is that a woman? Please? Hope it's not. Well, sex is or anything. It's just I believe they're not as good. Alright, now we fabricate claim on... Hamburg. Lundberg. People angered by our failure to wage war? What? I, we're not ready yet. Jesus. Why you gotta be so pissed off all the time, guys? I gotta increase the time in Poznan. Otherwise, we're gonna get rebellions everywhere. Right, okay, I can do that, but it will be a li take a little while. Uh, I think I need to do. I think I need to do the claim. It'll take twenty years to get Denmark ready. Alright, I think I'm just going to do it. Yeah, I think I'm going to take him. Take Lundberg afterwards. After we secured them. Ugh! What a trial. Yeah, let's turn down land maintenance modifier, and then in about a year, in a bit, we'll be able to get Tech 9. Because every, obviously every single idea you take reduces technology cost by 2%, so this is the most efficient thing to do. I right, we make it reduce cost even more. These guys are never going to like us. At least we are growing nicely. What's our force limit? 29? Eh. Smugglers running rampant. Ah, uh, fine. Yeah, I think this is the only thing we can do. We have to just declare war on them. It really does suck, but we have no other alternative. Uh, let's improve relation with... Oh my god, Austria. Austria, please. With Austria. Jesus. They declare war on us. There's no need for that. There we go. Sorry, my friend. Oh, damn it. I need the bloody... Let's 
Would that I could acidize you freely, my friend, but it will never happen that way. I'm gonna call in Cologne. I don't care about Cologne. I'm sorry, my friend, it had to happen. I know. I know. Shh. Let it happen. Wow, well, our ships, we, we're just really strong in the Navy Department. And our land forces are pretty nice as well. I think we should maybe take admin ideas next. I think that seems probably a good idea. Mercenaries, because we're going to be quite rich. Corporation cost reduction is going to be very nice. Interest. Extra goods, which isn't that great, but... I mean, I think administrative is probably going to be a good idea, because we want the corporation cost, because we're going to be coring everything. Wait, what are you doing? Hello, Norway. Alright, let's bloody keep making friends with Austria. We do not want to have to deal with them. Uh, so what were peace? So can I vassalize these? No, I could. I can't vassalize these guys. What is up with the peace cost of Norway? How odd. It literally cost 12 war score. And I get no aggressive expansion. Why was I even worrying about this? Honestly. It's not even a concern. Come to their aid in the Bohemian conquest of Wittenberg against Thuringia and Augsburg. This is where they started. Uh, Thuringia and Augsburg and Hesse. Am I bordering any of these guys? No, I'll accept. Ah, oh, that's easy. The Protestant Reformation is here. Oh my god. Well, that will weaken. That will weaken these scrubs. Hopefully. Where is fucking Thurin Thuringia anyway? Or where's Augsburg? Quite far away, isn't it? Yeah, it's ages away. I don't care about Augsburg. What? This is mine. Oh dear. Sweden really likes to fabricate claims, don't they? Don't know why they're so pissy all the time. Da da da. Oh, hey, they're gonna win the battle anyway. Never mind. Can I uh, have it now? What? Because it would result in Denmark's annexation or vassalization. You won't give it to me. You for real now? Come on. Why do you have to be this way? Where's my ships? There we go. And over here. Who are we at war with again? Cologne and Norway? Where the hell's Cologne? How much does I want to have smell prettily? Cologne's a fucking... It <laughs> How did I even get there? Who the hands is at war? Let's just move some troops over here and we'll attack Norway. Ooh, Poland and Bohemia as a rival. Come on now. Bit of a, diff bit of a difficult war. Because it's just a bit clunky. All we're going to gain is a vassal. But that's okay. I thought these were mountains, not woods. Oh well, do not like it really matters.
Du -du 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 -du. And our manpower is recovering nicely as well. Are you joking? The leader died at that exact moment. And our new leader's terrible. Ugh. Well, let's use let's use the king because we don't really want him to live any much longer. For goodness sake. In retrospect, I actually really do... Oh, I'm actually at my force limit for, na for, for navies. Da, 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 da. Come on. Oh, he was such a good general. He was a 2-5. Uh. Oh, and this guy died. Ah, oh, now we can't afford a military dude. Come on, give me the vassalization. There's no one else. No one else is in the war. You've lost, bro. Accept it. Just accept your demise. You're such a pussy about it. Alright, we'll continue this war in the next episode. And maybe we'll attack uh, the Hansa afterwards as well. Oh, Scotland's going to get wrecked. Oh well. I was Algernon, I continue to be, and this has been European Universe 4. Hey, I'm Spiking. Till next time.